Hello, welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and today, I'm about to say tonight again, uh, I am watching Violet Evergarden Episode 8. Uh, so last episode, um, Violet was sent to go work with a, I guess he's a playwright. Uh, they showed them at, like, the whole uh, shop <laughs> at the... Uh, at a playhouse watching one of his plays um and one of the other girls the one that wears glasses was commenting on how she would love to work with him to write out his next one and that should have basically been enough setup to let everyone know that violet was going to go work with the guy because that's what she did she went to his place to go work with him to write his next play um more of a child's play this time. Um, one that he used to tell his daughter. Um, you find out throughout the episode that she passed away. Uh, I don't think they actually said from what, but she died really young. Uh, he still hadn't gotten over it. It's not like something you can easily get over. Um, he was in a slump. He was drinking all the time. Um, had writer's block and I guess he couldn't actually really write himself without messing up probably just from thinking about her as he's writing the play which is why he had one of uh, had, had them send Violet to go and write this for him um, she helps him through his issues of uh not really getting over the loss of his daughter, but helping him, I guess, not be as sad. I mean, he's still going to be sad, but he's not, like, drinking himself to death. <laughs> um, so they wrote the play. Uh, she even acted out in one of the final scenes, which is something his daughter mentioned was that she wanted to, or was asking if she could with her parasol run across the the lake so Violet acting out the final scene of when the heroine comes home got the parasol and got a good distance started running, jumped and started going across the stream or not the stream, the lake which reminded him of uh, his daughter in a good way, because it was kind of like him saying goodbye. Uh, she didn't make it all the way across. <laughs> I think she said she got three steps and then finally fell in the water. Um, but he was very thankful for it. Uh, when she gets back, Violet finally hears something about the Major. Not what she wanted to hear. Uh, she sees the Evergardens, um, and they're talking, and she mentioned something, the, uh, older woman mentioned something about the Major and how, I guess he was gone. Like, dead. Which obviously angered her, because the guy she's working with has been telling her that they might meet again. But deep down, he knew that he was possibly dead. Because he explains everything to her. That there was, I guess, a bombing in the area. And he pushed her out of the way, out of the area. Where she rolled down some stairs. Um, they never found his body. Which does not mean that he's dead. Because, um, I mean, there's no, no body. Some, he could just be off somewhere. But, uh... I don't know. For me, I kind of feel like he should be dead. I know that... <laughs> I know that sounds bad. But for me, I think it would actually be a better... Better story if he actually turned out to be dead. Um, but anyway. Um... So yeah, she got angry because he should have told her. And 
after he brought up the no body, she's like, so there's a possibility that he's alive. And he's like, well, I guess, but what, you didn't see the area after it was bombed. Uh, basically trying to tell her that there's no poss no way that he could have survived. But she didn't want to hear it. She ran off. Uh, so I'm assuming we're going to pick up there where she's going to be either trying to look for him or just go on another another mission. I mean, last time we had some kind of conflict. They just kind of didn't focus on that and went somewhere else. <laughs> so... Let's get into this episode and see what's going to happen this time. So the video is going to be located over here. And the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. And we're going to start this episode in 3, 2, 1. 